Hello guys, this is question 3.54 in which we have to determine whether the two random variables of exercise 3.49 are dependent or independent. Okay. In order to see that what is meant by dependent or independent, so the two random variables are independent if and only if fx of y which is the joint probability distribution is equal to g of x multiplied by h of y. If this condition holds for all values of x and y, then those random variables are basically independent of each other. So here we have to check the same property for the random variable which we have seen. So let us move to question 3.49 and see what was given there. So this was basically question 3.49 where we had this table and let me remove it okay in this table we can see that those were all the values of f of x while g of x values were calculated so this is question 3.49 and here we can easily see that this is for fx of y while these are for g of x and h of y in order to see that whether the two random variables x and y are independent or dependent of each other, what we have to see? We have to see that whether f x y is equal to g of x multiplied by h of y, whether this condition holds for all the value of x and y or not. Okay. So if any one of the value doesn't satisfy this one, so it means the two variables are dependent of each other. So, okay, so let me first find it out for x equal to 1 and y equal to 1. Okay, so which means we will have here f11 will be equal to what? It will be equal to g1 and h. 1 okay so f11 is equal to what you can see that f11 is 0 0.05 okay so f11 is let me put 0 0.05 the value of g1 is equal to what let me see here that what is the value of g1 that is 0 0.10 so here it is 0 0.10 one zero and multiplying it with h1 so what is the value of h1 h1 is 0 Two zero. Okay, so multiplying them together, these two will be multiplied together, and multiplying them together, you will see that these two values are not equivalent of each other. Okay, so f11 is not equal to g11, which says that the two random variables x and y are dependent of each other, and these are not independent. So that is basically the solution of the question 3.55, which we have previously seen so let me move to that question and this is a question 3.54 in which we have seen the two random variables x and y are not independent and these are basically dependent of each other okay similarly you can apply the same concept for question 3.55 as well where checking the this formula for all values of for all values of x and y will show you that whether the two random variables x and y are dependent or independent okay so let us also see question 3.50 as well so this was basically the question 3.50 here in order to check that whether x and y are independent or dependent of each other we have to check that here the value of x is 2 while the value of y is 1 so we have to check that whether f21 is equal to g of 2 multiplied by h of 1 or not okay so what is f21 that is 0 0.10 so let me put it here 0 0.10 and the value of g of 2 that is let me see that this is 0 0.40 0 0.40 multiplying it with h of 1 0 0.25 okay 0 0.25 so when these two will be multiplied together we will see that it will also be equal to 0 0.25 one zero okay so it says that the first values two values are equal so it shows that 
the one pair of values are equal. Similarly, for the second value, you can also check it for, uh, let me check it for this one. So here, four, one should be equal to G of four multiplied by H of one, okay? So F41 is equal to what? That is 0 0.5. 1, 5, okay and what is g4 this is 0 0.60 and h1 is what this is 0 0.25 okay so when you will multiply it you will also see that this will also be equal to 0 0.15 and that is basically the proof that that these values these two when multiplied together will give me the answer which is equal to fx of y. So you can also check it for all the values of x and y and you will see that all these values will satisfy the equation fxy is equal to g of x h of y okay so which is the proof that the two random variables x and y are independent of each other okay. So let me move to the main page. And here, question 3.55, the two random variables are independent of each other, okay? So, in question 3.54, the two random variables were dependent of each other, while in 3.55, the two random variables were independent of each other, okay? So, that's it for today, in which I have illustrated the concept of dependence and independence of the two random variables. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. See you soon.